do you know that there's more than just one level of feng shui energy? And in this video, I'm talking about the layers and levels of feng shui energies and how it can impact your experience, whether you feng shui your house or not, as well as how it should be used. So if you want to learn a little bit more about compass readings or the feng shui period, go back into my previous videos in this series, because I'm not going to talk too much about that today. If I'm new to you, my name is Sabrina Kadri, and I'm the founder of Feng Shui and Prosper. And in the past 15 years, I've been a consultant, teacher, and trainer, and I've worked with hundreds and thousands of students and clients all over the world to help them implement real Feng Shui the way it was meant to be practiced from like hundreds and thousands of years ago so that they can finally see real results. So what is the difference between these three layers of Feng Shui? There are three things that I want to go through here. So let's talk about speed. The permanent energy works the slowest. And in my observation for most people, the energy, the permanent energy chart, whatever energy that is there, usually takes about three years to really start taking hold, especially when it comes to the negative energy. The positive energy, I find my students and my clients seem to be able to see the results of that much, uh, much faster than the permanent negative energy. But when it comes to the serious illness like cancer or brain tumor or um, life, um, life altering events, life events, usually they are um, linked back to the permanent energy and it takes the slowest for it to manifest in our lives. The annual energy is the medium fast. So let's say you're like, okay, this is the year for me to build my business. This is the year for me to get that promotion. You want to make sure that you align your feng shui placements to the most auspicious annual energy as possible. The monthly energy, however, works the fastest. So if you want a financial uh, boost for a sp specific month, or if you have a business, let's say, and you want to do a specific launch, uh, you can look at the energy of your headquarters, for example. What works the best? Which month is the most auspicious, the most prosperous, you can do your business launch, for instance, during that month, because that is the fastest one. Next is the severity. As I mentioned before, when we were talking about the speed, the permanent energy, let's talk about uh, illness, for instance. Once that permanent energy takes hold, where illness is concerned, it is usually the, the ones that are more uh, life altering. Okay, maybe a more severe accident, a more uh, a stage three or stage four cancer illnesses that it's harder for you to come back from. I won't say that it's impossible, but it's definitely harder. And usually when I have clients who come to me with these kinds of life altering accidents or uh, illnesses, I can trace it back to the permanent energy combination, either in their home or in their bedroom, sorry, in their front door or in their bedroom. The annual energy is medium severe. So if you've inadvertently been absorbing uh, a negative energy for that certain year in a certain uh, direction, for instance, this year, 2023, the most negative energies are in the Northwest and as well as the Northeast. If you've been using the North Northwest and the Northeast area of your home, because you're not aware of annual feng shui, annual flying star feng shui, then it's probably been a pretty tricky year, very stressful year for you. Now, the severity is, it's something that you can still bounce back from. It might take a few extra months, but you can still bounce back from that. I, uh, I also have clients where uh, they got COVID and we could trace it back again the annual energy plus the permanent energy in their bedroom leads to ill health. And they're like, oh, we, we managed to get away from COVID for like three years until now. <laughs> like what gives, right? It's the annual energy combined with the uh, per their permanent energy that triggers more ill health, okay? And then the monthly energy is least severe. So if, if there is energy that leads to uh, health challenges, it's probably just a cold or just um, a, a migraine that goes away maybe in like a couple of days and you don't normally get migraines, things like that, okay? And then the length of time. So if you've lived in a house, so let's talk about permanent energy here. If you've lived in a house for more than three years and and after three years in that house, you unfortunately get uh, got a bad, um, bad news from your doctor and you need to make yourself well, then the, the treatments and the protocols are likely more long term. Okay, so it's more dramatic, more, more traumatic. If it is illness that is triggered by the annual energy, you might find yourself more sickly during that year, and then maybe a few months after that. Okay, plus or minus two, three months. And if it is a uh, monthly energy, if you got sick for a certain month, then you might just get sick like uh, for about five, six weeks. So like maybe a week, before and after that month, when that illness energy hits, let's say your bedroom for that month. So I know this is complicated. I know this is overwhelming. I know it is confusing. 
I've been where you are. And every time I run my certification course, I see the same look on my students' faces as well. And this is why, like I mentioned before, this is why in social media, you see the fast food feng shui stuff being pushed down your throat because fast food feng shui is easy, fast food feng shui is simple. But real feng shui, if you want real results, if you want the real power of feng shui in your hands, it is layered, it is complicated. It is very nuanced and it is very unique to your layout. There is definitely no one size fits all when it comes to classical feng shui. If you love this video, but you've missed my past videos in this series, you can go back and look for my past videos. Or if you want to just have everything presented to you all in one page, you can click on my link in bio. I put everything in this video series into one presentation and you even get to download all the PDFs that I have here as well. Go to my link in bio. I combine all the video in the series uh, so that you can just binge and watch everything all in one sitting.